my name is Rob Hamilton. I've just successfully rode 3,000 miles solo and unsupported across the Atlantic. My total time was 53 days, 3 hours and 20 minutes. And uh, right now I'm feeling on top of the world, really. <laughs> There's definitely a few scary moments. A couple of near cap sizes. I'm a bit nervous here. I don't really know why. Maybe it's because I'm hundreds of miles from anywhere and the water's five kilometers deep. But there were many hard moments like some of the hallucinations from the sleep deprivation. And you, sh you can feel yourself sort of slipping. I thought I was on Windermere for some reason in the Lake District. I asked these three imaginary figures in my stern cabin if I could stop rowing now. But when I came out of that, that was a bit unsettling. And then later on, I'd start to hear sort of crying or wailing on the wind at night, which was quite creepy. And at one point, I actually thought I saw a hand um, pop up out of the water and grab the side of the boat. Why did I do it? There's a few reasons. There are two charities, really, that I did it for. One, of course, is the Invictus Games Foundation. And I just love adventures. And that, that's the simplest thing. Amazing. I got into Military Academy Sandhurst to train to be a regular uh, army officer and I subsequently um, busted my knee quite badly eight days in to my illustrious military career um, and was told that I was uh, basically medically unfit um, for, uh, for the forces, which, which, you know, which definitely stings. Of course, it pales in comparison to what a lot of the, the guys in the Invictus go through. But even so, there's still that empathy with some of the guys that go through these horribly traumatic events. But then they find a new purpose in sport and they find a fulfillment in sport and then to be able to continue to do extraordinary things. I was doing this to prove that my injury wasn't going to define me. And that I wanted to go and do something big and extraordinary and adventure to prove that I could just go and still do that. I'm very sore, very, very tired. Uh, and uh, I'm very disappointed in how ginger my beard is. What was my best moment at sea? There were some incredible sunrises, sunsets, night skies, swimming with dolphins, seeing some whales. So many dolphins! The rowing community is, is kind of an interesting one. It's wherever you might be. You might be on an erg in your garage, you might be out in the water going sculling, uh, you might be crossing the ocean or something. But it's all, but it's all connected. And so that, that close-knit community is really fantastic. And that ability to support each other through their own goals is, is, is incredible. That, that willingness to just, to just keep going and to just, you know, never wanting to stop, never letting up. I think that's what the business is all about. And that's why I think it's such a fantastic organization. Because it's like, yeah, you kind of set back, but it's not going to stop you. There's always, there's always things on the bucket list. There's the North Pole, the South Pole, there's a load of caves in Vietnam I want to go and explore. There's, the list never gets shorter, it only ever gets longer. <laughs>